I'm Jenny. Welcome to Creating Art. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm going to fill a brand new 48 pan watercolor palette. I ordered this from Amazon. It is the F Club palette and the sides are metal and the half pans are plastic. It is a change from my old palette that is all plastic with 24 slots and as you can see very well loved but kind of need a new one. All right let's get started. All right, so we're back talking about um, prepping our watercolor palette and how to fill our pan. So prepping your watercolor palette is a personal choice. There are tons of um, YouTube videos out there that will show you how to stop the beading. And the beading is when the water will just um, pull on the um, palette right here. And this is what happens, that's beading. So if that drives you crazy, you can prep it, you can watch the different videos, but even they will tell you that it doesn't stop the beating um, you know, right, right away unless you really scuff up your palette. And I don't really like to do that. And I have just found that um, within a few, um, after you use your palette, it actually just stops beating on its own. So you don't even need to prep it. So that's my personal choice. I don't um, prep my palette. I just leave it like it is because I think it's all nice and new and pretty and shiny, but that's my preference. All right, so I'm gonna take this out and I'm going to set this to the side. And as I think about filling these up, I like to remove them. They just pop out, it's super easy to pop out. And then it's just much easier to hold it in your hand and it's not really running over and it's easier to contain that. So I'm gonna take these all out and I'm gonna show you, share with you how I fill a half pan. Okay, we are ready to fill our half pans, and so I'm using, I use mostly Daniel Smith watercolors, but I also use Winsor & Newton. And so as I open this up, um, if these are hard to open, sometimes like a little gripper, um, this is a little gripper pad, helps you open them. And then um, this tool here will help squeeze out paint. I'll demonstrate that on this. So as I start with the pan, I try to squeeze into the corners and going all the way around. And I'm not feeling, I don't feel all the way to the top, but close enough. And then I use a little toothpick to try to take out any air pockets and to create a solid um, pan that has no air bubbles. I think it um, helps the paint stay in a little bit better and it also helps it to dry. So my yellow is done. I'm just gonna set it over here to dry. Making sure you always put your lid back on. And then for this one, um, my quinacridone pink, when it gets to where you are having trouble with that, this is a fabulous little tool and you just slide it on the end and you start to roll it up. And as you roll it up, it helps the paint to come out. Sometimes it's hard. And remember watercolor paint, even if it is hard, you can soften it it actually comes back to life with water so this might be a little bit hard so I'm gonna go in and kind of squeeze some more out and you can see how easily it helps it to come out so this one's gonna take a little bit more effort and it may not be as perfect as I like and it seems to be a little bit more old this is a really fun color, the, the quinacridone pink is a really nice color. So I'm going to stop right there, use a toothpick, and you, that's what I'm talking about. Some of the older paint leaves more air bubbles than the um, newer paint. And I try to get along the edges so it's down, and I definitely think I could add some more pink in here to help with the air pockets. So not all of it is as easy as the yellow that went in. So it does take some time, but once you're there, remember the watercolor paint does last quite a while, so that's nice. All right, so that's a little bit better. You can tell that I got most of the pockets. I got all the pockets out, and I'm just trying to make it smooth. And then I will set it to the side and let it dry. 
Okay, so I'll show you um, when they're all filled and we'll talk about how you let them dry. Okay, I have filled all of my half pans. It uh, took a little bit of time, but I'm happy with how they look and now I just need to let them dry. So depending upon where you live and how warm it is or how cold it is, um, they will just dry differently. So I will come back in a few days and see how um, um, dry they are. And when they're dry enough, I will put them back into my pan and complete my watercolor set. And these were all, I thought this was fun because those are all my little toothpicks that I use to do the colors with. So my paints have dried and I put them back into my palette. And I organize uh, my colors. I like to keep my um, warms and my cools together and my earth tones together. And then I also created a grid and did a quick painting of each one so I know um, just color what I'm using if I kind of tend to forget because sometimes these can be very similar and so it's important to create a grid so that when you go back to refill it um, that you're not cross mixing your paints and I also just left some blank because I wasn't sure what I wanted to put there so I'm excited to start painting and remember um, I have not started using this yet but once I do start using it which will be very soon um, the beading it will happen and then it will all of a sudden go away so don't worry about it too much and enjoy the process. I hope you enjoy filling your new palette and I am really excited I have to say about having a um, larger um, paint palette than my 24 color. I just feel like it gives me more choices and I really do like it. So um, I hope to see what you end up doing with yours.